you ask you a question about the scope of your ordinance? So as Justice Kagan was pointing out, this, this criminalizes sleeping with a blanket at a minimum, right? Yeah. Correct? But I, as I understand it, after this decision and, and maybe after Martin, before that, there was some question about whether it also criminalized um, having fires, campfires, tents. Can you talk a little bit about that and what the scope of it is? Does the Constitution then make it impossible for a city to limit the use of fires and encampments, tents, th those kinds of temporary shelters? It really does, because the rationale of Martin, the, the argument that it's a biological necessity to sleep outside, the respondents argue a blanket is necessary in Oregon. Some might argue a tent and a fire is necessary in North Dakota. The Eighth Amendment really doesn't give us any answers to what cities can and can't prohibit. It's really administratively impossible for cities on the ground, as well as for courts to administer. So we're seeing- I'm sorry. This, we have nothing to do with fires or tents. That was exempted under the district court's injunction and the circuit court didn't require that. We're talking only about sleeping with a blanket. Well, I, well I, so let's narrow it to what it is. Um, I agree there might be other cases in the Ninth Circuit that are not uh, rational. <laughs> um, uh, and I don't mean to uh, throw aspersions at, at uh, those holdings, but some of them are not uh, permitting time, place, restrictions. Um, let's go beyond that. Let's go here. Here you're not precluded from uh, prohibiting fires. You're not precluded from prohibiting tents. What's at issue is, are you prohibited from keep having someone wear a blanket anywhere in the city? Your intent was to remove, stated by your mayor, intent is to remove every homeless person and give them no public space to sit down with a blanket or lay down with a blanket and fall asleep. That's not the intent of the law, and I would like to address well, that point uh, because the other side— Why don't has... you answer the basic question? Yes. So It's not about fires. It's not about uh, tents. It's about not being a time and place restriction, about eliminating all choices. So we think that it is harmful for people to be living in public spaces, on streets and in parks, whatever bedding materials, when humans are living in those conditions. It, we think that that's not compassionate and that oh, there's no Oh, it's not, but neither, is, we, we neither is providing them with nothing. Well, we, to alleviate that situation. This is a difficult policy question, Justice Sotomayor. It, it is. Where and, do we put them if every city, every village, every town, lacks compassion and we, passes a law identical to this, where are they supposed to sleep? Are they supposed to kill themselves not sleeping? So this is a necessity defense, as I mentioned, under Oregon law is available. States are able to address these concerns. This is a complicated policy question. We believe that the Eighth Amendment analysis, to go back to it, focuses on the low-level What's level so time. complicated about letting someone somewhere, sleep with a blanket in the outside if they have nowhere to sleep. The laws against defecation, the laws against um, keeping things unsanitary around yourself, those have all been upheld. The only thing this injunction does is say you can't stop someone from sleeping in a public place without a blanket. 